Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Bridge Mobile Proofreading, I'm going to show you how easy it is to proofread on any device anywhere with Bridge Mobile. Proofreading with Eclipse and Bridge Mobile is fast and easy. The first step to proofreading with Bridge Mobile is to set up your Bridge Mobile Cloud Storage account in both Eclipse and Bridge Mobile. I'm going to set up my account in Eclipse first. I'll open Eclipse, go to my user settings, click Advanced, and then click Connection Magic. In here, I've set up my email address for the email, and I've input a password. Once you set up your email address and your password here and you press OK, you'll get an email in your email account with a link that you can click on to activate your account. You'll want to go to your email and click on that account before you can bridge mobile proofread. So I've set that up already. I'll just press OK out of here. And to set up your Bridge Mobile Cloud Storage account in Bridge Mobile directly, you would open up Bridge Mobile on any device that you're going to use it on. Go to Settings and then go to Info. Here, in addition to the email and password field, I also have a, a username field that I've filled in. And so in Bridge Mobile, I've put in the same email and the same password as I put in in Eclipse. This links the two systems together and allows me to share files between them. And again, when you set up your email address and your password in Bridge Mobile and you press the check mark, if it's the first time that you've set it up, you're going to get an email that will confirm the account. Go ahead and check your email and click the link in the email that you get from Bridge Mobile to confirm your account. So currently in Bridge Mobile, if I go to files, I see that I have all of my existing files. I don't have an unfiled section right now because I've organized all of my files. So if I expand these, I have all of the files I've proofread or viewed in the past. And so that's what I have right now. I'll close out of Bridge Mobile. And we'll go into Eclipse, and I'll show you how you can send a file to Bridge Mobile to start proofreading. And so you would open Eclipse, go to Tools, Convert. Since we're sending a document to Bridge Mobile to proofread, we're going to do to another system. We'll choose Text Files because we want to proofread a translated tra transcript. And we're going to choose the Bridge Mobile proofreading format. Next, we'll choose the document that we want to send, and I've created a document for this purpose called Sample Document. Now when I hit Next, this document is going to be converted and sent over to Bridge Mobile. You'll see a quick status message and then a complete message. And so the file has been successfully converted to Bridge Mobile, and I can press OK. And if I wanted to convert more files, I could hit More Files, or I can just press Finish. You can also send more than one file through Bridge Mobile proofreading at a time just by selecting more files. In this instance, I've only sent one file. I'll hit Finish and Close out of Eclipse. After you've converted the file to the Bridge Mobile proofreading format, you can open up Bridge Mobile on any device where you've input the same username and password, and you'll be able to access that file. After converting the file to the Bridge Mobile proofreading format through Eclipse, you can now find the file in Bridge Mobile. Once the file has been converted into Eclipse, you can access it in Bridge Mobile. If I go to Files, I now have an unfiled section, and if I hit the plus sign, the document is there. Before I open the document, though, I want to show you how to set up issues. If you have the Pro version of Bridge Mobile, you can go to Settings and then Issues, and you can customize each of these 23 issue categories for quick notation of your documents when you're proofreading. These allow you to, with a click of a button, put in a color-coded mark into your document, and when you convert this file back over to Eclipse, all of these specific notes that you have in the name of the issue will come out automatically. This will save you time so that you don't have to type all of these notes all the time, and it gives you a little bit more information than just a general mark does. So this is where you can go to set up your issues, and now I'll show you how you can use them with the proofreading system. After you have your issues set up, you can go to Files and Unfiled and select the document that you want to proofread. And you see that at the bottom it says that it's synced in the cloud. So that means that this document will be available on any device where I've entered my same Bridge Mobile cloud storage account credentials. And so I can open the document that I want to proofread and by pressing the, selecting it and pressing the green check mark. 
Once I'm in the document, I can click to the left of each line to put in a general uh, non-descriptive marker. This will come up with a line in your document, a comment line that just says general. Since I've set up the issues, I can click on issues on the right, and if I select a line, I can hit the check audio issue, and it'll give me a red color-coded C over there. And when I import this document back into Eclipse, I'll see a comment that'll say check audio. I can use this to mark a line with any of these other issue codes. And in addition to just issue codes, I can select a line and hit the notes icon in the top right and type in a specific note. And that note will become visible when I import this document back into Eclipse in a comment line. And you see that lines that have notes have a little information symbol here. And lines that have issues or just general marks have the color-coded icons. And if I select a line, I can put in an issue mark and then I can also put in a note. And once I have the note in there, I can just move on to a different line and it's automatically saved. And you'll see that this line, I've noted it with a color-coded check spelling issue. And I've also put in a note to specify that I actually know the spelling of that one. I just hit the wrong Stewart stroke. So once you've proofread your document and you have all of your marks and notes inserted into the document, you can close out of it in Bridge Mobile, close out of Bridge Mobile, and then you can return to Eclipse on whichever computer you want to use Eclipse on. It doesn't have to be the same computer like in my example. Since we've proofread the document, we're going to convert it back into Eclipse. So we're going to do Tools and then Convert again. However, this time, since we're getting it from Bridge Mobile, we're going to do From Another System. Again, we'll choose Text Files because it's a transcript. And again, we'll choose Bridge Mobile Proofreading. And now you'll see that I have my sample document listed here as an available document, and it shows me that it's in the unfiled section of my Bridge Mobile organization. So I can select this file and hit Next, and I get another processing window and a Finish button. So if I go into my document now, my sample document, you see that I have all of the comments and marks that I made. The comments are preceded by the line and or the page and line number. If your paragraph is more than one line, the comment is always going to start will always be inserted in the document above the paragraph where it was marked, but the comment will refer to which line in that paragraph the mark refers to. And you see that in this instance, in addition to the check spelling issue mark, I have the note that I added. And if I scroll down, in this one where I had just a note, I have just a note and no issue marking. And in all of the others, I just have the issue marking that says whatever my issue code is. So I have check punctuation, check spelling, check audio. And so that's as simple as it is to move your proofreading marks from Bridge Mobile to Eclipse. Both of these processes are very fast, and they allow you to proofread anywhere from any device. So you can use an iPad, any other computer that you have access to, or anything else that you may want to use instead of lugging your laptop around to do simple proofreading. Thank you for watching this video about Bridge Mobile proofreading. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Technical support can be reached for help with any of our products, including Bridge Mobile at 772-288-3266, or email support is available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching our videos. If you're enjoying our content, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when new content is published. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.